Now let's sketch this graph. We'll do that over here. Okay, first of all, we graph uh, negative x. So uh, y equals negative x is a line that has a slope of negative 1. Um, we'll, I'm going to use my ruler tool for this one. So there's a line with the slope of negative 1. And so we come down and I stop at negative 1. Call that negative 1. Because that's where it stops. Only for x values less than negative 1 we have that. So we'll have a little empty hole there. Okay. Then when x is equal to negative 1, we've got 3. So 1, 2, 3. We've got that point. Now, between negative 1 and 1, we've got x squared. So we'll go over to 1, and x squared is a parabola. We've got that. And um, again, it's an empty uh, hole on either side. And then finally, for um, this last one, we've got x plus 1 for x greater than or equal to 1. And so x plus 1, that's a line. Again, I'm going to use uh, my ruler tool. It uh, has a slope of positive 1, but has a y-intercept of 1 as well. And so start there, and we go off. And of course, that is a filled in hole, filled in point, I should say, because that is uh, greater than or equal to 1. All right, so there's our, uh, there's our curve uh, for this uh, graph of this function. And we now want to know uh, for which values of a does this limit as x approaches a of f of x exist. Now, the only way that the limit as x approaches a of f of x will not exist is if uh, from the left and the right, we're not approaching the same thing. So along any any part of the graph that's all connected, we don't have any problems. Okay, so we'll say from negative infinity all the way up to negative one, we're, we're certainly not going to have any problem because we're all connected there. At negative one, though, we need to ask ourselves, does the limit exist here? Now, from the left and from the right, we're approaching the same y value. Even though the actual y value of the function is way up here, we're approaching the same point. So it actually works there at negative 1. And so we keep going, and this is all connected, so we don't have any problems. But then right there, we have a jump. Okay, So at 1, from the left, our y value is approaching 1. But from the right, our y value is approaching 2. And so that's a, that's a problem. And so at 1, um, our limit uh, will not exist. But then after that, we go forever, and that's all going to be connected. It's off to infinity. So those are all the values of A for which this uh, limit will exist. We could also simply say uh, A cannot equal 1.